You're watching Seatome TV. Knowledge is power. Eileen is asking, does surgery or tissue biopsy cause cancer to spread more throughout the body? Mm. I and mean, that was definitely a, a concept that uh, is still adhered to to a certain degree today. Uh, a lot of doctors feel that um, you know taking a biopsy or taking you know doing surgery can break off tumor cells and they will travel through the body mm -hmm. um, what we now know is that that's less of a risk mm. um, so when you get not a, so likely no so when you get a biopsy um, or you know whenever you get surgery they're two different situations okay let's and, start with the surgery okay so when you get surgery um, your immune system is suppressed you're on um, drugs that you know during the surgery that will suppress your immune system mm. and just the process of being unconscious and so on is uh, is going to affect you so what can happen is it can create a brief window of time right after surgery that allows the cancer cells to grow mm -hmm. because your immune system is suppressed mm -hmm. um, it's not that the cells break off and spread around mm -hmm. what we know is that cancer cells um, that form the bulk of the tumor that's usually um, the target of the surgery or the um, or the biopsy, um, do not necessarily contain the stem cells that have created that. Mm. So the, the stem cells that have created the tumor are probably, you know, within a, you know, a few centimeters away in a different location um, called the uh, fundamental niche the tumor cell or the mm. stem cell fundamental niche. And they produce the precursors, which then go on to produce the uh, rapidly dividing constantly dividing cells. And so if those were somehow... If those were affected, um, they could potentially be, um, you know, move around. But, but I think what we know now is that it's a much more complicated process. Tumor cells don't just break off and magically transfer to a different part mm -hmm. of the body. Well, that's good. They have to go through a process called um, mesenchymal to, or epithelial to mesenchymal transition. Um, just to travel through the blood, and then they have to go through uh, mesenchymal to epithelial uh, trans transmission um, or reversion, just to be able to um, uh, seed and in, seed into a new fundamental niche. Okay. So the common theory now is that it's actually the exosomes that cause met metastasis yeah. by converting normal cells and priming the tumor microenvironment um, for uh, new. Tumor cell and that's going to be uh, that's going to require more than just a surgery for yes, that process to happen. Exactly. Now I know that in certain countries it's starting to be more standard, uh, uh, more in the U.S. and even in, in certain hospitals in Mexico. Not yet so much in Canada. The, the the kind of the flushing or or adding uh, um, when someone has had a surgery to add some treatment, uh, uh, some sort of chemo or some sort of drug at the time neoadjuvant Neo typically it's Neo right adjuvant. before yes okay yeah um that could be beneficial in a lot of different cancers some cancers it doesn't benefit it mm -hmm. depends on the cancer it depends on the drug okay so it's not going to be something I think it's, that's no, done it's, it's actually common um, oh is it yeah before you get surgery you typically get some sort of neoadjuvant chemotherapy okay in most except cases. if that particular type of cancer doesn't warrant it is that what would determine that? yeah i've just um, I've spoken with some people recently who said that that wasn't done for them yeah yeah, uh, there's many factors okay. that decide that. Okay, sorry, I didn't mean to take yeah. you off, off the topic here. Uh, now, you were talking about uh, how surgery and tissue biopsy are different. Mm -hmm. So how would, uh, how would taking a tissue biopsy potentially cause cancer to spread? Um, I don't you know? think it does. Oh, okay. I really don't think it does. Oh, right. I think it's a very low risk. Okay, so kind of the same answer mm -hmm. as the surgery one because of the nature of how cancer spreads through the body. Which requires, you know, the only cells that can actually spread through the body would be the stem cells and okay. so you know when you're taking a sample of the bulk of the tumor you're not typically affecting the stem cells okay thank you for watching Seatome tv subscribe below and stay informed